स्टूडेंट्स एज यू कैन सी इन द वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व टू पोल्स ऑफ हाइट सिक्स मीटर एंड इलेवन मीटर स्टैंड ऑन द प्लेन ग्राउंड इफ ए डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द फीट ऑफ द पोल्स इज ट्वेल्व मीटर फाइन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देयर रो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स हैव लुक हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस वन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव क्लास टेन जनरल मैथ्स लेट्स हैव लुक हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस वन स्टूडेंट नाउ दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव क्लास टेन जनरल मैथ्स एज यू कैन सी इन द वीडियो द डायग्राम इज लाइक दिस एक्चुअली एंड टू पोल्स विच मीन्स दिस टू पोल ऑफ हाइट सिक्स मीटर इच and 11 meter stand on a plain ground and uh, you know 11 meter stand on a plain ground if the distance between the feet of the poles this is the feet of the pole and distance between this is 12 meter then find the distance between their tops which means this one and this one i repeat again this is the top of the first pole top of the second pole we have to find out the distance between these two which means D and E way to find out. Now look, student here. This is question number twelve. So I'll write down here question number twelve, and we'll start the solution now. Let's have a look how to solve this. Now look, student, the given portion. So we'll write down here given. Now look after that. Here, A D and B E. A D equal to सिक्स मीटर एंड बी इक्वल टू इलेवन मीटर आर द टू पोल्स आर द टू पोल्स ऑफ ऑफ हाइट इलेवन एंड सिक्स सेंटीमीटर टू पोल्स respectively respectively now look student after that d and e d and e are the top of the pole so we we'll write down here that uh, d and e are the are the top of the poles d and e Now look, student. After that, AB is the distance between the feet of the two poles. So we'll write down here that uh, AB equal to twelve meter distance distance between distance between the feet of two poles. Now look, student. After that, here we have to find out DE. So this is the given portion already. Now here we write down to find. To find means D and E. So we we'll write down here DE equal to question mark. Student, now look here. This is DC. We have joined here. So we we'll write down here construction part that DC we have joined. So Look here now. We'll write down that we join DC and DE. So here we write down construction. Construction that uh, we join, we join DC and DE. Now look, student. After that, as we know that uh, ABCD. ABCD is a rectangle, so we know that opposite side of a rectangle are equal. So if you know BC equal to AD, so AD equal to six meter, then BC is also six meter. So we we'll write down here now the solution, or we can write down also that uh, determination solution that we we'll write down here. That A B C D, A B C D is a. Look in the diagram. A B C D, A B C D is a rectangle. And we know that opposite side of a rectangle are equal. So students, uh, we write down here that you know, 
BC equal to AD. So BC equal to AD. We write down here opposite opposite side opposite side of the rectangle. Now look, student. What is the value of BC here? Because BC is the you know BE is the height of that pole. Look here again. BE is the height of the pole, and uh, if it is AD is the second pole. Height is six meter. So this equal to this. So we we'll write down here. You know, in place of AD, we will write down here six meter. Since AD equal to six meter, so BC is also six meter. Now look, student. After that, here in the diagram again. There is total height, which B equal to eleven meter. So if this part is six meter, obviously this portion is five meter. Eleven minus six is five meter. That's why I have written six meter and five meter here. Now look. After that, student. And here AB equal to CD. So we we'll write down here again that uh, AB equal to CD. Reason is same. Opposite side. O double P O dot means opposite side. Opposite side of the rectangle. Opposite side of the rectangle. Now look, here AB is twelve meter. Then CD is also twelve meter. Now look, student. After that, look here. For finding the DE, we need this side. Means CE. So if it is CE, students, BE minus BC. If I subtract BC from BE. We'll get C very easily. So we'll write down here. Now, C E equal to there is you know B E minus B C. So value of B E is eleven meter, and value of B C is six meter. So you know their answer is five meter. This is C E five meter. Now, student, look. Since you know this is perpendicular this is also perpendicular on you know this part so we can apply here the pythagoras theorem so we'll write down here now student now look here we can apply here the pythagoras theorem that uh, you know triangle dce this triangle dce in this triangle student you know hypo is d If D is the hypotenuse, then DC plus DC square plus CE square equal to DE square means hypotenuse equal to sum of the other two sides square. So if this is five meter and this is AB means twelve, this is also twelve. So here, student, so right now here now in triangle D. C E D C E student D E square D E square equal to D C square plus C E square. So here D E square equal to D C D C is how much twelve. So there is twelve square and C is five square. Now look after that. D square equal to twelve square is one forty four, and five square is twenty five. So student here, D square equal to one sixty nine m square. Now look student after that. D E equal to you know thirteen square is one sixty nine. So thirteen meter D E. Now look, student. We write down here. Hence, the last line. Hence, the distance. The distance between. The distance between. Their tops. Distance between their tops. Is thirteen meter. This is the answer of question number twelve.